Hello and welcome to the first of what is hopefully going to be a, a set of feature videos showing the upgrades to various products since launch. In the first of these videos I'm going to focus on Digisticks and highlight some of the new features such as the VU meters here on the mixer and some user contributions that you might find of interest. Now arguably one of the biggest additions has been the ability to actually import multiple samples per pad and use these in a round robin or layered configuration. Now for this example I'm going to use the files app which I'm dragging up from the iPad dock and docking it to the side of the screen. This is very convenient and you can actually move this from one side to the other uh, so that you can get at the various pads on Digisticks. And to assign a sample to a pad, it's just a question of dragging that sample to the pad. Um, if you drag multiple samples onto the same pad, after the first sample it then asks for a layer to assign to. Uh, you can have up to five layers per pad. Now once multiple samples are assigned to a pad, you can tap and hold on a pad to get to this configuration screen, which lets you configure the velocities at which these samples are triggered. Also, if you tap and drag up on a pad, you'll get to this screen which allows you to set the actual mode for the multi-sample, either round robin or layered. So let's add a second sample to the uh, pad we just triggered and just see how it sounds. By default, multi-samples trigger at the same time unless you actually set differing velocities. So let's set round robin on this and see what it sounds like. So let's take a look at a demo of Digisticks in action using multi-samples. This was sent to me by one of my users and it's mightily impressive. And this second demo shows just how versatile Digisticks is because you don't really need to use drum samples, any samples will do. Now one important thing I want to address is the file import and how easy it has become in the latest versions. In the most recent version of Digisticks I added a file import option which can be used to transfer files from a PC stroke Mac web browser. To use this feature you need to run in standalone mode and press a little import icon at the bottom of the screen. This will give you a URL to type into your web browser. And from the web browser you can import and export samples directly to uh, Digistix's documents folder. Now back in Digistix, if you tap, hold and drag left on a pad, the documents interface will appear. And this allows you to browse the file structure of your documents folder, tap on a sample to hear it sound, hear it preview and um, hit the import button to actually assign that sample to the pad. Now one nice thing about this is that while this dialog is open you can tap another pad, the uh, red focus rectangle will move and you can assign something to that pad 
all in one go without leaving the dialogue. Now one of the major enhancements in later versions of Digistix over the original preview video was automation. Now the preview video went over fade rolls and its function, but we've since added a new tie rolls. And the tie option allows you to create triplet style uh, drum fills um, with a greater degree of flexibility, uh, especially when automation comes in. To use the tie function, hold down the tie button and then one of the triplet buttons and drag your finger across the screen to lay a event with a particular length. Now if you go into the automation, the controller automation, you can see on this particular event that there is actually two volume levels, one at the start, one at the end, and you can alter these to get the respective volume levels for the start and then roll. Tap, hold and drag at the end of the tie to adjust its length. Now notice the list of controllers on the right of this dialog which allow us to control things like pan, pitch and probability as well as the uh, velocity. Um, we just need to draw in uh, controllers to uh, adjust the settings at each individual step of the uh, pattern. So that just about rounds out this video. Hopefully you found something of interest here. Hopefully some of the changes I've been making have been worthwhile to you. And hopefully you've enjoyed some of the user contributions. Until next time, thank you for watching.